businesses relying on the cash, counting the day to be able to restock again. ABC 27's Micah Cho explains the efforts some gas stations are resorting to to keep gas in their tanks and businesses afloat. Gas in Tallahassee. Still hard to come by at stations in the city. In order to keep their businesses going, some stations that do have it have put limits on how much gas people can buy. With a marathon station off Adams Street capping customers off at $15 a trip. At stations where the gas has run out. It's just slowed down the business a little. For Ken Ford, who works at the Vero station off of Blundstown Highway, pumps at that station have run dry, with impacts stretching beyond the pump. There's a lot of other things that you can actually get from the convenience store besides gas a lot of times. A lot of people fail to realize that a lot of times. No gas means no customers inside the store. One more 34. Lottery tickets, beer and cigarette sales make up about 66% of their profits. The gas station will have to wait until at least Tuesday before pumps are full again. At Rattler Gas, there's a lot of uncertainty after Wednesday restock never happened last week. John Webster works at the store. He says they are just as frustrated as customers. Because we're here to try to serve the community. And it's a disappointment, I know, then they have to go other places to try to look to, to get what they need. A need stations are hoping to fill again soon. Community, you need it, we'll sell it to you. A need stations are hoping to fill again soon. In Tallahassee, Micah Cho for ABC 27.